In the conductor section, we can select this option if the transmission line is transposed. And if it is bundled, we can enter the separation between the conductor and number of conductors here. Next is grounding page. Here we can specify the effect of mutual coupling in the transmission line. If we want to take the mutual coupling into account, we should select these parameters. Voltage drop. Here we can set either the voltage drop in cable or line or feeder will be displayed or not. UPS panel. If we select UPS panel and want it to display, we can model a motor in a three different ways in this page. Let's do this modeling based on these three methods. First is based on the CKT library. We should select the motor from the single or double rotor in the library. The first part of the uh, design class is HV or LV, which represents color. Then the name near the element will be changed to red. The color will be changed to red. So we can change the parameters, which is related to alert, and remove the alert. Here there are four alerts, cable 2, cable 3, and CB4 are overload, and generator has under power. Maximum fault or short circuit is approximately 2800 amp. Here is three phase current without fault and AG fault happening at this time. As you can see in the first half cycle, fault current is maximum and the peak is also in this period. This period is called subtransient time. 1.5 cycle to 4 cycle is also a very important period and protection release should open the circuit breaker at this period. This period is called transient time. After 4 cycles, the DC element in the short circuit current is almost zero and we have an AC current only. In this time, we can find the minimum fault current. This time is called steady state. There are different methods and standard to model the short circuit current and now we are going to check the parameters of these methods. In the IEC standard, this bottom calculates the short circuit current based on IEC 60909. We use this method to and this connection is LL or face to face. Most of the time this connection is face to ground, but you have to check with your diagram of your project and check this connection type. In the rating page, we can specify the PT rating. Here we should select the standard value from the drop down list twice. This relay has four levels in ETAP and if we check the stages of the ETAP and the relay in the relay configuration software, SC relay configuration software, it should be the same. In ETAP, this relay has three IDMT and four DMT stages. Different manufacturers use a different name or symbol for these functions. IDMT or inverse time or NC51, all the same function. DMT, different time or instantaneous or NC50 are also the same. Let's open the configuration software, accelerator quick set, and add a relay SCL421 to check the overcurrent function and stages. Yes, as you can see, current is increasing automatically. We have seen as soon as the current reached 2 amp, the relay issued the signal. I've configured the signal as unlatch in output 1, and you know unlatch, and this one as the main. If the main relay could not clear the fault, the backup relay should clear the fault. So main relay should operate first. Let's set the minimum TMS for the main relay. We should remove TCC clipping current to have the full curve. In the previous session, we have set the time delay over current phase, or NC51. In this session, we are going to set the instantaneous phase over current, or NC50. CT5 is selected as the phase CT, but in the ground CT, we can select between CT5 and the CT7. CT7 is a equivalent CT. These two CTs are completely different, and they can pass 3 instantaneous or 50N stages and 1 time delay or 51N stage. In DZ, if you wanted to deactivate each stage, we should enter. In the previous session, we have seen how to add fuels, over current phase, and ground elements. In this session, we are going to overview the protection tab in each element. Here, each relay has some test point and time in seconds. For example, to test this relay, relay 6, which is a P121, if we take two times of pickup current, the relay should trip at 0.667 seconds. In a real test, we should inject the pickup current, this value, 